invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. A year ago, when Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, wonderful thing about America is how people, they take such good care of their health. And for this, they got thousands of doctors. Only thing in America, every doctor is what they call a specialist. <laughs> As a nose doctor, eye doctor, ear doctor, skin doctor, stomach doctor. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm worried. What's uh, happen if I'm going to get a sick all over? <laughs> <laughs> My bedroom is going to look like a doctor's convention. <laughs> Besides the doctors, there's thousands of hospitals here. And they also specialists, too. They got a polyclinical hospital. That's for sick poly. <laughs> general hospital. That's for sick general. <laughs> and last week, I'm going to read about a place in Rochester. It's a special for sick mayors. That's called the Mayor Clinic. <laughs> Another thing, in America, they got a law. Everybody has got to go see a doctor once a year and a dentist twice a year. I guess they want you to see the dentist twice a year because the day poorer and they need the money more. <laughs> but the reason I'm right to you about the doctors and the dentist is because right to now, I'm got a big toothache. But I don't worry, Mamma Mia. It's not to hurt me too much. Only when I'm a crack of nuts. <laughs> It feel like I'm got a little hole in my throat. So I'm going to try to stuff it up with a chewing gum. <laughs> Must be something wrong, because everybody is yelling at me to stop a chewing. Even this morning, I'm a pass the phonograph store, and I'm going to hear somebody holler, Luigi, drop that gum. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a time now to go to my night school class. And I'm going to ask my teacher, Miss Spaulding. Maybe she's going to tell me what I can do for my toothache. All right, class. Quiet, please. Quiet. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco. Present. Mr. Harwood. Mr. Olson. Present. Mr. Schultz. What is? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, fellow poopers. Who would I be a sensation on television? <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Well, I'm even prettier than Milton Bill. <laughs> Enough of that, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, our lesson for today is on punctuation. Oh, goodly punctuation. That's my meat. That's his meat. I hope he chokes on a semicolon. <laughs> you are sure. Now, just for that, Mr. Schultz, you're going to answer the first question. Now, I want you to correct the punctuation in this sentence. The will divided the estate among the brothers John, comma, James, comma, and Jack, but Harry, comma, got nothing. Now, Mr. Schultz, what was the mistake? My coming into class today, period. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you will answer the question. The will divided the estate among the brothers John, comma, James, comma, and Jack, but Harry, comma, got nothing. Now, Mr. Schultz, where was the mistake? Harry should have gotten something, too. <laughs> No, no. He shouldn't have. What's the matter? He's an orphan. He is not. Then if I was Harry, I would hire a good lawyer and fight the case. <laughs> Mr. Schultz. I was only trying to see that justice is done. Mr. Schultz, sit down. Now, Mr. Basco, I'll read the sentence and you try to find the error in the punctuation. The will divided the estate among the brothers John, comma, James, comma, and Jack, but Harry, comma, got nothing. Now, what was the mistake? Well, I'm going to think Schultz is right that Harry should have hired a lawyer. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, what do you say? If you don't mind, I'll wait till the case comes up in court. Miss <laughs> Bonding, uh, I know the answer. Uh, the comma should go after Jack, uh, and you take it away from Harry. Himmel, now they cut off Harry without even a comma. <laughs> Mr. Olsen, you were perfectly right. Oh, oh I'm always right. I, I study hard just like Abraham Lincoln. Like Abraham Lincoln, I light the fire at night, 
And like Abraham Lincoln, I lay down by the fire, and by the fire I stood the hard. If he gets any closer to that fire, will I give a push? <laughs> One more interruption like that, Mr. Schultz, and I'll ask you to leave the room. Well, Mr. Vasco, why are you making faces? Uh, please, Mr. Spalding, I'm going to make faces. Is it just that I'm a feel of pain, and I'm a rubber my tooth the way to my tongue? Lu Luigi, you, you got a toothache? Oh, than the ain't got a tongue, eh? <laughs> I sympathize with you, Luigi. Mr. Basco, you should see a dentist immediately. But I'm spoiling. A dentist is a charge of money, and I'm not the got any. Oh, Mr. Basco, that shouldn't be any problem to you. Chicago has many free clinics, and I'm sure they'll take care of your tooth free of charge. Well, uh, maybe... No, L Luigi, they, they got a real good clinic on West Washington. But, uh, uh you think it's going to hurt Ach, stop that kind of talk, Luigi. <laughs> you go right down now to the clinic. Well, I uh, take an example from my cousin Hugo. For years I told him to take care of his teeth. He told me he did, but he didn't fool me. Yesterday we had a talk, and I know he is wearing an upper plate. Schultz, how do you know he's wearing an upper plate? It came out in the conversation. <laughs> my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. Pasquale, you ever been to a clinic hey, on the... Sit down, uh, Luigi. Is it soon going to be rush hour at my spaghetti palace? I've got to finish up this menu. Sit down and read the tablecloth. All right. <laughs> uh, pizza plain, 75 cents. A pizza with a peppers, a one dollar. Pizza with anchovies, a dollar and a quarter. Pizza with the mushrooms, a dollar forty. Pizza with everything at 35 cents. But, uh, <laughs> but excuse me, Pasquale. How come a pizza with everything is only 35 cents? Because with everything, it's a taste of terrible. <laughs> La scalapini a la masa. Oh! How? What's... Oh. Uh, Luigi, what's wrong with the side of your face? You saving the marbles? <laughs> you blowing a bubble of gum from the inside? <laughs> Pasquale, I got a toothache. Oh, Luigi, that's too bad. You try oil and garlic? No. No, Pasquale. I'm going to go to school and ask the class. And Miss Spalding is saying I should have gone to see the dentist. But I say I'm not to got no money. Schultz is telling me to go to free clinic. But I'm afraid that now I'm going to know what to do. Sure, sure. What do you expect? You go to everybody, but your friend Pasquale is to bring you from the old country. And what's to happen? Nothing. Why are you always running around like a crazy little puppy looking for a bone when all the time you could have found that bone right here in my head? <laughs> You're so right, Sir Pasquale. You're the biggest bone head I ever seen. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm saying it to come out a different. <laughs> oh. oh, you poor little cabbage head. <laughs> You know, Luigi, your tooth is just like my tooth. When something is hurt of you, it's a hurt of me. When you've got a pain, I've got a pain of two. Pasquale, how's our toothache? <laughs> uh, Luigi, you being sarcastic. I'm really mean it when I say that's our toothache. Ow! See, I just got a stab. <laughs> oh, poor Pasquale. Luigi, you said it before you're going to go to a clinic. Uh -huh. Now, we wouldn't take our tooth to a clinic, would we? Why not? The lucky you got me to explain to you. You know how after every dentist's the name to say D D S. Uh -huh. Well, that's the name of the gas that they give you when they pull out the tooth. Oh, <laughs> but when you go to a clinic, they can't afford expensive stuff like D D S. You know what to happen? What? They spray you with a D D T. Luigi, we got to take our tooth only to the best expensive dentist in Chicago. But Pasquale, I'm not going to afford it. I'm not the got of money. Luigi, it's our toothache. I'm going to give you money. You do this to my little banana nose. <laughs> <laughs> Just to do one little favor for me. You want a favor? What's that? When you come out of gas, I'm like it. The first face you should have seen is my daughter Rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, give me some more gas. <laughs> Luigi, don't talk so fast, if you marry Rose, I would have done a most wonderful thing for you. What's that? I would have pulled out every tooth in your mouth and put in all the gold teeth. <laughs> gold teeth? Sure. That every time you need money, you take out a one tooth and you pawn it. <laughs> You're going to live like a rich man for the rest of your life till you get down to the gums. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Pasquale, you paint such a beautiful picture. And it's hard to resist. But I'm a no matter your daughter, Rocha. All right, you fool. Go to the clinic and see what's to happen. They get some young fellow who's a practice on you. He's a pull out the wrong tooth. He's the wisdom tooth. You come back to me, you know what he say? The hello, Pasquale. <laughs> oh, no, Pasquale, you don't scare me with that talk. Clinic is a finer place. So goodbye. If anybody is to call me, I'm going to be in the West of Washington Clinic. I wait. Oh, I could have kicked myself when I was going to give him the best of years of my life. <laughs> well, I stick to him a good. Hello, operator. Uh, give me the West of Washington Clinic. It's an emergency. <laughs> what? No, I'm no screaming with a pain. I'm just a singing. <laughs> Hello, Washington Clinic? Listen to George. I've got a very important information for you. The fellas are coming in to have a tooth to pull free. He's looking like a bum, but he's really a millionaire. That's all right. Underneath his old clothes, he's wearing a tuxedo with a full dress underwear. <laughs> sure. He's always a go to clinics to save him money. He's been a go to clinics for the last 20 years. Saving so much money, that's what makes him a millionaire. You gonna watch out for him? Fine. Is the name? Uh, Luigi Bosco. That's all right, uh, Luigi Bosco. I should have spelled it. Uh, B. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to spell it. What do you think I am, a squealer? Life with Luigi continues in just a moment. But first, Lux presents Hollywood tomorrow night with a triple star cast in one of the most powerful dramas to come from the film capital in years. Joseph Cotton, Valley, and Louis Jordan will come to CBS Lux Radio Theater for an hour-long version of their starring motion picture, The Parodying Case. Mr. Cotton, once again, will play the great English barrister who falls in love with his beautiful client as he defends her in a murder case, and who finally hears the astonishing truth when he puts her on the stand. Valley will again star as the accused woman, and Louis Jordan will recreate his role of the murdered man's servant. Join us on most of these same stations tomorrow, Monday night, when Lux Radio Theater brings you these three great stars in The Paradine Case. And now for the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And a so, Mamma Mia. I'm a went to the clinic, and what the trouble I'm a have. Soon as I'm a tell the man I'm a Luigi Basco, he's a push me against the wall and a look at my underwear. <laughs> I say, what are you looking for, a gold? And he's a say, that's all right. Then the man is a taking my address and the name of my bank, and he says he's a going to investigate me. Mamma mia, now my tooth is a still a hurt. They're going to investigate me, and I'm a really going to be in a trouble. What am I going to do? Luigi, my fellow boober. Ach, you look terrible. Didn't you go to the clinic? I'm going to go to the clinic, but they throw me out. The clinic fellow, he says he's going to investigate me. What they can do to me? Well, you come from Italy. The worst they can do is send you back to Stromboli. <laughs> Smile, Luigi. I'm trying to cheer you up. If the clinic won't take you, you're coming with me to my dentist. Schultz, this is a dentist. Is it not going to hurt me? Ach, please, stop worrying if the dentist will hurt you. After all, he's a human being, too. What does he do? He straps you in the chair. He sticks by you in the mouth of the needle. He takes a drill and goes... <laughs> Himmel, that's a human being. <laughs> Schultz is a funny thing, but I'm starting to feel worse, well, don't worry, Luigi. I got a good system for you. When the dentist starts to work on you, the minute you feel pain, you kick him in the leg. <laughs> and that's going to stop my pain? No, but it feels so much better when you hear the dentist screaming too. <laughs> no, I'm only fooling, Luigi. My brother Wolfgang went to, to my dentist for two weeks, and he never felt a stitch of pain. How's that? The dentist was out of town. <laughs> Am I a stupid head? I just remembered. He's still out of town. Good. But I'm going to wait till he comes back. You're going right now, Luigi. Now, here. Here, five dollars. I give you the address of my dentist's building, and over there you're going to find plenty more. Should see your real life saver. Oh, stop, Luigi. You make me feel like I got a hole in the head. 
Schultz, I don't know when I'm going to return this five dollars. Don't worry. Next week I'll lend you another five. You pay me back. <laughs> Go on like this for years, you know. <laughs> I gotta go now, Luigi. And remember, you go right to that dentist building. All right, Mr. Schultz. And remember that old saying: be true to your teeth, or they'll be false to you. <laughs> well, goodbye, Luigi, and smile, smile. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Well, I'm going out to this medical building. Mamma mia, I'm going to like this. With me going to the dentist, is like a pulling teeth. <laughs> Directory. Mamma mia, is a hundreds of names. Dr. Nathan Feldman, DDS. Dr. Frankel and the DDS. It looks like everybody is a dentist in this building. Which one am I going to? Oh, here's the one that look good. Psychiatrist. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. Must be a fellow who treats the sick eyes. <laughs> oh, this is one I'm like. Cheer up with this. <laughs> He's not only a dentist, but he's a fellow who's a cheer up of the people. <laughs> well, I'm going to go right to him. <laughs> huh, here's his office. Dr. Saul Townsend, a cheer up of this. That's a funny kind of dentist with a picture of a foot on the door. <laughs> well, I'm going to go in. How do you do? Come right in. Thank you, Doctor. Now, sit down and tell me. What's your trouble? Hey, doctor, I've got a terrible pain. Well, we'll fix that up. Take off your shoes. <laughs> what? I said take off your shoes. Want to be better for you looking at my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to see that far down. <laughs> You don't want to look at my teeth? No, no, that won't be necessary. True, sometimes the pain can be the result of faulty teeth, but in your particular case, I think it's tight shoes. Tight shoes? <laughs> you mean when I'm wearing tight shoes, it's a squeeze of my teeth? <laughs> yeah, now tell me, young man, when did you first notice any pain? Well, I think it was about three weeks ago when I'm first to crack some walnuts. You, uh... Crack walnuts with your feet? <laughs> no, with my teeth. Very strange. Go on. Well, the next time I'm feeling pain is when I eat the gum drop. Pain after a gum drop? That doesn't seem possible. Oh, yes, sir. And the more gum drops I eat, the worse the pain is again. He gets. Thirty years in the medical profession, I've never heard of a case like this. This will make me famous. Walnuts and gum drops. I can just see it in the medical journal. Dr. Townsend's Fruits and Nuts Disease. Uh, all right, Doctor, I'm going to get my shoes and the socks off. Yeah. Hmm. Your feet look quite sturdy, but... Uh, have you been using ultraviolet on them? Ultraviolet? Yeah, the, the coloration. Your feet look a trifle purplish. Oh, well, what do you see? I'm only in America all the time. I'm coming from Italy. And over there, I was a grape crusher. <laughs> That the color you see is a muscatel. <laughs> Tell me, has anyone else in your family been bothered by bad feet? Well, now, let me see now. How was the one I had a flat to feet? Oh? Was Uncle Pietro's a goat? <laughs> no, no, that doesn't interest me. Now, uh, <clears throat> I would say offhand you might be suffering from a weakened metatarsal arch and pesplanus, which causes a strain on the gastrocnemius muscle, resulting in a rumbosacral strain of sacroiliac. That's a... Huh? <laughs> All of that in a one a little tooth? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a toothache. Eh, uh, eh, uh, oh. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Doctor, how am I going to get rid of this pain? Well, there are several things you might try. I suggest soaking the injured part in a big tub of water for a few hours. <laughs> how am I going to hold my head under the water so long? Not your head, your foot. But, a Doctor, my foot, they don't hurt. It must. Otherwise, why would you be seeing me? I'm beginning to wonder the same thing. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'll get to the cause of your trouble. Now, get up on this table and start jumping up and down. Jumping up and down? Yes. Let's go, double time. Double time? Mamma mia, what kind of doctor is this? He's in a pull out of my tooth. He's trying to shake it out. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hey, Luigi, what's the matter? You're so perspired and wet. You look like a glass of beer that's running over on the outside. <laughs> oh, where you been? Oh, Pasquale, I'm just coming from the craziest dentist. I'm telling my tooth to hurt, so what's happening? He's a take off of my shoes and the socks. He's a making me jump up on the down. Then he's a crack all of my bones. What? Then he's a tell me I'm a got a lot of big names. And because Uncle Pietro is a good, he's a got a flat the feet. I'm a got to soak my head in a tub of water. <laughs> well, wait, you have to sound crazy. What does the dentist is a charge you for all this? Five dollars and not the kind of fifty cents for blue jay corner plaster. <laughs> You got a corner plaster on your tooth? No, on my foot. <laughs> your foot? So what kind of a dentist you went to? I went down to this medical building where Schultz is sending me, and I'm going to pick out this dentist. Only he's calling himself a chiropodist. Chiropodist? Uh -huh. Oh, you big and stupid green horn of bull. <laughs> Don't you know a chiropodist is a fellow who's a deliver babies? <laughs> Today I was almost a mother, huh? Luigi, I thought you was going to go to the clinic. I went. They threw me out and they said they're going to investigate me. Oh, oh, so that's what that telephone call was. What the telephone call? From the clinic. They say they investigated you and because you're not here to answer, they're coming to get you. What the... Pasquale, you know I'm going to do nothing wrong. Always I'm going to try to be good American. Don't tell me. Convince the jury. You in a serious of trouble, Luigi. If you was to lie in the clinic about your appendix, you only got a one appendix, you only get a one year in jail. If you lie about your feet, there's a two years in jail. But if you lied about your teeth, that's a 46 a year. Well, Pasquale, I'm only got a 32 teeth. Stop trying to get time off of a good behavior. <laughs> But, Pasquale, you know I didn't lie. Go fight at the city hospital. Luigi, remember before how I'm going to tell you it's our to take? Uh -huh. I'm still going to take care of you. How, oh, Pasquale, what are you going to do? I'm going to know how to handle things like this. Now, when the clinic man is a come, you just keep your little trap to shut. I'm going to make a believe I'm a Luigi Bosco. Oh. I'm going to talk him out of it, and if he's need a little money, I'm going to take care of that, too. Pasquale, you do this for me? What's different? It's our to take. Now, Luigi, I'm going to do something for you. You're going to do something for me. <laughs> Anything, Pasquale. What do you want I should do? Well, you hear about the Marshall Plan where America's to give things to Europe? Uh-huh. I got it, the Pasquale Plan. <laughs> What's that? I'm going to give a rosa to you. <laughs> what do you say? What the, can I say? I'm a got to know United Nations to appeal it to. <laughs> Good. Then I call it a blush and a bribe. Rosa... Rosa! Rosa! Come me, Yes, come here, my little cupcake. <laughs> Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, your bride and groom has got a little toothache. Could do something to make him feel better. <laughs> Who oh, shut up! Uh, pardon me, I'm from the Washington Clinic. Is Mr. Basco here? Uh, go, ahead, go out with a rose. I'm going to take care. Uh, I'm a Luigi Basco, mister. You come with me in the other room where we talk. Oh, we can talk right here, Mr. Basco. I hope you understood what we told you on the phone about investigating you. 
Uh, we're very sorry for the way we treated you at the clinic. What? Now, uh, you go, go. Uh, we feel so badly, Mr. Basco, that we've brought our head doctor to have your tooth taken out right here. Oh, Dr. Walton. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not to Luigi Basco. Oh, it won't hurt a bit, Mr. Basco. <laughs> I'll open wide for the doctor. There. Uh, take your head off for me. Luigi, tell the doctor I'm not to Luigi Basco. Oh, you're not to Luigi Basco. Well, I'm a wonder who is it. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, open wide. Uh, wait for Luigi. You wouldn't have let this fella take out of my tooth, so would you, my son? What's the difference, of Papa? It's our to take. <laughs> and so, Mamma Mia, what it looked like was it going to be a bad day for me was it turned out the good after all. I'm going to have the heart to let the Pasquale suffer. So I'm going to go right back to the store and explain everything to the doctor. Besides, there was nothing to pull out of Pasquale's mouth. It was all pulled out 12 years ago. <laughs> Best part of all is, I'm no got the toothache no more. Dentist is a pull out of my tooth, and it's not to hurt it too much. Mamma mia, you should see the big hole I'm going to now where the tooth used to be. Is a wonderful place to keep a gum drop. <laughs> You're loving his son, Luigi Bosco, the little immigrant. <laughs> Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Mary Ship is Miss Spaulding. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Don't forget that my friend Irma pays her regular call tomorrow night on most of the same CBS stations. Now stay tuned for It Pays to be Ignorant, which follows immediately over most of these stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>